Hello, Mac Warriors. How is it going? Welcome to another episode of Battletech Urban Warfare. We're gonna travel again, guys, because I want to play some more five skull missions. We are here for getting more and more and more assault max. And in order to get there, we have to, as I was saying, travel to another planet. However, we're gonna repair our Highlander first, and I want the Atlas with the Gauss rifle to have better weapon systems. This is thing I think uh, an auto include in most of my missions here. The good old Gauss. Large laser, medium laser, what's it called? Uh, Atlas. So, what we're gonna do here is we'll put all the medium laser plus 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 on it. So, that's gonna be fine. Also, I think we found, hmm, yeah, we found a gyro last time. We'll definitely put the cockpit mod on here. But are we picking up the gyro for the sake of uh, one medium laser here? Actually, why the hell not? Why the hell not? So, that that's gonna be it. Uh, redu reduced stability damage that we take here is, I think, a good idea. And uh, yes, we sacrifice a little bit of firepower, but mostly we will shoot the Gausses and the large laser anyway. And um, yeah, I think it's gonna be fine. We could probably drop one of those, one of those heat sinks, but then what? Small lasers on the arms? No, we're not really going there. Not, not really. I mean, um, hmm. We could drop on one of the Gauss rifles. Here's, here is what I think about it right now. Bear with me, guys. Double Gauss is fun, but do we have more LRM options? We could make the Atlas twins happen. Like two Atlases built the same way. We have two Atlas uh, AS7D and we have two Gauss rifles. Hmm. But yeah, it's not going to happen because we don't have good LRM options. If I drop one of the Gausses, then I would have to uh, put one LRM into this and it's not good. Now, what else? Um, we have another medium laser comm system. I want the comm system, honestly. Cockpit mod here, cockpit mod there. Let us... Hmm. Do I bring my Atlas with the AC-20 again? I mean, that thing is great. It has four accuracy. We are pretty good with that in terms of shooting. Um, and while we could use it with just the cockpit mod, I was thinking about... Uh, the comm system here, because that gives us additional resolve each round, and that resolve translates into more headshots. I actually think I'm doing that. Yeah. So, let's put it into the Atlas, and then we're gonna play the Atlas a bit more. Also, this LRM-20 with stability damage. We might, we might be able to put something together that is the, the Uber mech. Just getting all of our good weapon systems, like the best weapon systems, into a single mech and making that thing an auto-include. This uh, LRM-20 is plus two damage, though, so yeah, we'll keep that thing. Medium laser with accuracy in the center, and as I was saying, we're gonna put the good old comm system in here. Yeah, we miss out on two uh, injury resist here, but my pilots are good enough anyway, so I think we don't necessarily need it. Heat management is glorious, by the way. Hmm, we have enough ammo, though. We could armor up. Yeah, that's what we do. We're gonna armor up. I think I want... More uh, side torso armor. 210. And more center torso armor too. Yeah, that's good. Alright, so any other weapon systems that I can put in here? We have another medium laser... Double plus, triple plus. Let's put that into the center. And put... Actually, no. Let's put that into the arm and then the three accuracy in the center here. Okay. So, double Atlas, double Highlander. That's how we play it here. And it's gonna be fun, guys. However, we need to find another mission in order to find more Assault Max. Flashpoint available. A house divided. Uh, no. I don't like that too much. No, that's not a fun Flashpoint. That criminal minds, god no, I'm not playing for those Liaos. The Long Hunt, no thank you. That. Bourbon and Battle Max, well this is fun. I think I'm not gonna take that right now. No, 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 no. Let's actually travel to more planets here, to more systems that we haven't traveled to yet. For example, Dao. Daol. I'm just checking something real quick. Is there any planet where I can play with the Federated Suns and Marek? Not really. 
Not really. In the center of the Liao space, there's actually something. See, the idea is that I'm in pretty good standing with both the Federated Sun and the Marik, which means I can pick up more missions at the same time there. So, let me go and find a four and a half scale planet there. What about this? Federated Sun, Marik. Seems good to me. Take a tour. Same here, same here. So we can travel between those. That's perfect. Uh, yeah, let's go. That would be the best spot for us to stay on a planet for a little bit longer without the need of traveling. See, traveling always costs money. Not only the, the travel money, but also the time that you spend in space that uh, kills your financial report and then your Siebel balance. Oh, I think we are going to get a fully upgraded Argo in this playthrough. Um, this is cheap-ish and takes 30 days. Ah, let's build a low G-pool. Let's give something back to our mech warriors because they fought so bravely on the battlefield all the time. Let's go. So, here we go. Great. Is there anything else I need to do right now? Let me think about it. Not really. I can take a look at my barracks to see if my mech warriors gained more skill and um, upgrade their fighting capabilities. But other than that, it's just waiting until we arrive. And we're gonna make that happen when we arrive, actually. Cool thing is that the Argo will be upgraded as soon as we got on the planet, which means we can issue the next upgrade right away. I think the next thing will be the drive system, actually. And um, yeah, then we're gonna take a look at our mech warriors and, and see where this is going. Uh, moonlighting with an LRM. Hell yeah, do that. LRM 15 plus, plus one damage. It's pretty good. Uh, Puffbird got an injury, but she's not an active member of Alpha Land, so... <clears throat> good job, Puffbird. Go, go and rest. Thank you for your efforts. You get a, you get a, I don't know, a day off or two or 20. I think that I neglected completely was the med base so far. Um, they will cost me a lot of money later on. But it's gonna be, okay, this is gonna be our last priority. But I want the Argo upgraded because it kind of feels good completing something here. Alright, six days. Let's go. Also, I cannot wait to play Rogue Take again. I really hope that it's coming out soon. Maybe it has come out already? I don't know. Might be. At the time that you are watching this, I'm maybe already recording Rogue Tech, but hey, let's see. Uh, this is just critical. I mean, critical is nice, especially on a big missile launcher, because you have so many instances of damage that you can throw at your enemies, and some of them might crit something. But I look for stability damage more than that, because I want to go headhunting. Anyway, we'll leave it at that. Let's take a look at the Mac Warriors. Hello, guys and girls. Varangian? No, okay, so if Varangian... Oh, wait, here we go, Soda Pop. With the ninth gunnery skill. So all of them are 9999, except for Varangian, who actually has, a, I think, a 10 skill already. And that's good. That's also gonna be good, if we have a fully equipped or fully skilled lance. Available contracts. Give me... 5 skull battle. I want an atlas, I want a king crab. Give me something like that, please. And, in fact, I will bring my, my biggest max. I'm gonna leave the stalker in the, in the bay for the moment. I want to bring armor and firepower combined. Really? Oh, I wasn't in good enough standing yet. Oh, good. Okay, so, but you can see the point. I could have played for both of them here. I'm gonna make sure that I'm not playing against the Federated Suns here. Uh, I mean, that's perfect. That's actually exactly what I was asking for. So let's do it! Uh, what's wrong with the Atlas? Give me one moment. Did I not put the... Wait, 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 wait. Did I not put the comm system into the mech? What is wrong? 99? Oh! Oh yeah, <laughs> we were discussing that. And uh, we were actually missing on the laser now. Obviously, we have another ton that we might use for... Uh, okay, it's gonna be heat management. I could take arm mods or... Ooh. What about a heat bank? How does that work? Seriously, how does that work when you have maxed out uh, gut skill already? Is it gonna... 
Is it gonna be longer now? Our overall heat threshold? It's gonna be interesting. Not that it matters on the Gauss laser build here, but hey, let's see. Retribution is the first mission that we're gonna take, and we will play Bordemarix against the Capellan Confederation. God, those guys don't like me. They will hate me. And we're gonna go in with Double Atlas. No Stalker here. Double Atlas. Double Highlander. I need to think. Where do I want Varangian in this spot? I want him on the Atlas, definitely. Because he has breaching shot and that AC20 needs to matter. And also he has a sensor lock ability. So if my AC20 is not in range, we can at least sensor lock people. The other guys, yeah, are just playing the Highlanders. Let's go, let's let's go. Let's do it. Let's go, go, go. So shameless self-advertising while we are waiting for the mission to drop. Guys, if you don't know. If you didn't know, I'm also streaming on Twitch and uh, I'm streaming Battletech a lot and also Mech Warrior Online recently. So if you want to hang out and, and just chill casually and have a good talk while we are destroying battle mechs on the battlefield, then follow me on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash baradool. Link is also down below in the description. And um, if you if you want, leave a follow there. Thanks. So, here we go. We are playing actually in the jungle, right? And jungle means that we have great heat management, but so do the enemies. So taking out firepower quickly and focusing down on a single mech is crucial here. Okay, that was quick. Hey, I want you to go there. 85 ton mech! Oh, finally we can hunt down assault mechs again. That's so good. It feels good having a good challenge. 80 ton. I don't care about 80 turners so much. Alright, I'm gonna deliberately... Yeah, I'm gonna deliberately sensor lock the guy in the outskirts there. The Victor, who's not even braced. Okay, he was sprinting. That's great. Uh, because I wanted this 85 turner to come closer. I just wanted to bait or force him to make a move. Uh, they didn't. Alright. I mean, that's the obvious thing to do then. Hello, Victor. I love that we hit the arm, by the way. Taking down an AC-20 is a good idea. That big gun there. Still not moving, I see, my friend. Okay, Mr. Highlander. Show him what you've got. AC 20 crit, and the arm is about to fall off. We need 25 damage. Also, he's unsteady. Ooh. That's what I thought. Obviously, going for the target that is not in cover makes sense for the enemy. I was actually thinking about whether I should go to the left side, but, you know, I didn't. It's a battle master, by the way. A battle master. As I was saying, let's focus... All right, we have a knockdown. I was really hoping that we could rip off the arm there. Oh, 80 tons again. I was hoping for 100. But hey, the cool thing is that we are inspired already. And that inspiration is gonna be very helpful. We have a higher hit chance and we have enough resolve to make cold shots again and all of that. That's perfect. Yeah, let's go to cover and make the headshots. No, we cannot really make headshots here. All right, here's what we do. We multi-target. Uh, LRM's down to the victor. Maybe we can now crit his AC-20 completely. As in destroy it. And we did. Good. And I wanted to not waste the firepower here. Shooting the mediums to the left side, to the battle master. All right. So, Mr. Victor, yeah, you can sensor lock me all day, it's fine. How good are we? Is, is this the lucky day where we get a battle master? Precision strike to the face, let's go. No, AC20 did not connect properly. But it's fine. I want to get into medium laser range, so always pushing. 
The problem that I'm seeing right here is that the Victor still has a nasty punch and I don't want it to get close. So, I think I'm gonna stick to my plan, as in shooting everybody to smithereens one by one. Alright. Now Battlemaster. That thing has a ridiculous amount of medium lasers there, it's so crazy. But the problem with the Battlemaster is that it's running crazily hot. Another Victor, he's priority right now. The AC-20s need to leave the battlefield immediately. Immediately. I see, we have reinforcements on the field. Now that is interesting. That means that we actually have a chance of getting our 100 toner still. It means also that we need to be very quick with the kills on this side. Mm, okay, ordering, 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 ordering. The Victor's AC-20 needs to go. By the way, did they just skip a turn for me? Did they? I don't know. Okay, we have the AC-20 off the, off the field, that's good. Also, headshot, down to 11. No, they didn't skip the turn. It's just... Wait, what? The Battlemaster and the Victor seemingly have still an active turn this round. I am baffled, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. Okay, so the Victor now can be ignored for one round because he only has short range weaponry. And I'm gonna... I mean, I have breaching shot. He's guarded at the moment. It makes sense to split here. Okay. Let's see where this gets us. Yeah, he's unsteady. I mean, we can capitalize on that. And that's 75 damage to the leg. Yeah, they, they still have their active move. Kinda weird. Yup. Um, yeah, go ahead and shoot him. Alright. Only dealing half of the damage. But still, the Battlemaster is not moving at all. Which is super weird. Mm, and then we have the dragon on the sidelines. But he is super evasive right now, thanks to the spore cloud. It's a head hit on the Battlemaster. That's not bad. It's very helpful indeed. Maybe we can uh, get him locked down or something, getting him on the ground, getting more consecutive headshots, and just incapacitate the pilot. And here come the reinforcements, 60 ton mag on the outskirts. And more missiles. Yeah, the damage is really minimal, and we are making some serious progress. What the hell was that, though? I cannot really figure out what is shooting us there. Not yet. Um, but, 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 but... Let me take my Atlas here, try to go for a headshot on this guy. Maybe we can take him out right now. We didn't. And he's unsteady. That means that he's gonna move now. Mm -hmm. I like how you can push the AI into things that they will do because you know that um, they have a priority on that. For example, standing up max, um, shaking off stability damage, something like that. However, however, we can we can do this now, making him unsteady again with our PPCs, getting some splash damage on the Victor. Okay, I was just hoping for another headshot there. And now that he's unsteady, we can also knock him on the ground. But I want my Atlas on the other side here. I want to bring it over. Oh well, whatever. He's gonna soak some damage probably, but let's do it. Um, ba -bam. the actually the AC20 is gonna go down there. 
Yeah. That is another pilot injury, and that's the knockdown. We also have the big hole in the victor's armor. Good, good, good. Oh, they're actually not going for my atlas. Interesting. Armor is still holding. We still have 50% roundabout on the side there. On the arm as well as on the side also. But yeah, now we can actually make some cold shots against the space again. Boom. Need to twist in a little bit more. Okay. He's gonna get destroyed anyway, right? So it doesn't matter what we do here. We go for the kill. Alpha striking, the Battlemaster will definitely kill him. And we're gonna get some more breaching shots. Oh no, it's not a breaching shot. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. I thought I had breaching shot on this mech. I didn't. What's the other? No, it's only the, only the Atlases have breaching shot right now. Gotta internalize that. So, yeah, but the LRM-15 would have been best off if I had breaching shot against this guy here. We need to make some progress against the Victor while killing the Battlemaster. I really do not understand their LRM craziness there. He has a dragon only shooting indirectly, staying in the Spore Cloud. By the way, Spore Cloud, that is a 20% damage increase when you stand in there. So... Dude, I'm not entirely sure if that's a good idea. Onwards! So, speaking of breaching shot, now we got it. See, our LRMs deal 7 damage each, that's so good. You have no weapons! You can still punch me. But he's gonna die soon. This is but a scratch. All right. Uh, quick draw on the high ground. LRMs from the outskirts. I think the thing that I want to do right now is splitting up as much as possible. Not as much as possible, but as much as it makes sense. All right. We're gonna multi-target. That, that, and that, actually. So... The large laser going there. The girl's over there. No, not enough. Ah, damn it. I had to click twice. Focus. Gotta focus. More missiles from the outskirts. So yeah, obviously I wanted to shoot the, uh, the quick draw up there using breaching shot because both of them are guarded. Wanted to maximize my damage output while targeting multiples here. Yeah, I hate it. I do not like it. Anyway. We'll shoot the medium lasers to the Victor. Alright, he's unsteady. Medium lasers for the win. Didn't get the job done, not quite at least. Is he gonna punch me? He's gonna punch me. Ow. So the plan didn't work out. Not this time. What are we gonna do instead? Just go for the kill shots here. In the dragon, 12 damage. It's not... not good. Where is... where is a good spot where I can fire my PPCs at this guy? It's here. Great. I'm, I'm mad now. Let's go. LRM. Actually, let's vent some heat. <laughs> we can! Let's do it then. Yet again, multi-target, everything there. LRM to the backliner. Double kill! Okay, by the way, guys, I have changed my pace a little bit while I was trying to... Uh, focus fire and take off firepower in the very first um, in the very first engagement. I now try to yet again maximize my firepower and just get things done. So multi-targeting here is um, is actually a thing that kind of works, more or less. Uh, why is he showing me his back? Is that a bait? Seriously, is is that a bait? 
Uh, okay. I cannot even hit him there. Not in the back, at least. Um, uh, yeah, we still have Gauss ammo, so might as well use it. And yet again, one of the Gausses is always missing. I mean, this time we are at 60% hit chance, so yeah. Wonder what that missile boat is in the back. Probably a catapult, honestly. 80 ton mech. Stalker? Probably a stalker. Stop stalking me, guys. Uh. Duh? Yeah, precision strike with the Gauss rifles would have been better last round. Does it matter? No! Here we go! Okay. I think I'll just push out at this point. Because I want my AC20 on the front line. And I have only, what, three more enemies alive? Those guys stand no chance. Alright, bracing here. Giving the enemies a good target. If they ever get here. <laughs> which they don't. So is there anybody who can establish line of sight and shoot? No. No, it doesn't seem like it. So we're gonna take Varangian. Moving up the hill. Getting that sensor lock out. To the 80 toner in the forest. Which happens to be a Zeus. Yeah, obviously. A Zeus with an LRM-15. And now we can go in. Um, let's try to take the headshots. We have it with one LRM though. 90 toner in the back. Another Highlander? Probably. Okay, regular shooting. It might be that we are destroying this guy here. That we are destroying this guy before he can act, but it all depends on whether we are getting lucky now. No, not today. Another head hit though. That shoes on his health, however, it is just not enough. Okay, Highlander is critical now. We gotta put him back. Yeah. We'll push with the other Highlander. Uh, let's also try to get some elevation here. Getting into this forest and when we need it. Maybe now? There we go! That's the Zeus, everybody! Hope we can salvage that, yeah. That was the misabout from earlier. We have an awesome with two LRM-15. That was the guy. Alright, now we know. Um, ba -ba. How do we do it? Can Varangian get a shot out? Yes, he can. Let's go. Headshot. AC-20. No. Okay, that's fine. The amount of missiles that we are firing around here is just so ridiculous. The enemies as well as my team. Okay, let's bring him back. There's no need of risking anything here. What the cool thing is, uh, or the cool thing about this here is that we can now knock the awesome to the ground. It's the last two Gauss shots that we have. So no more headhunting with Gauss rifles. Uh, but we still have some lasers. I should probably bring back the laser here. Now that I realize we have very limited ammo on the Gauss rifle. And the third medium laser, the fourth medium laser actually, it actually matters. The third, obviously. The third. It's actually okay. Oh, we have an LRM-15 that we can upgrade. There was one in the store. Aha! Uh, you better dive down here. Alright. Come on. Let's go center. 
See, I wanted to break line of sight from the awesome, so that the Highlander in the back wouldn't target my Highlander down here. Alright. Those games go a while now. It's a lot of firepower and a lot of armor on the board. I love it. Alright, here's how we do it. We'll bring the Atlas in. Try to somehow destroy the awesome. Get some resolve as a result. And then use Varangian. Then use Varangian to... to, to, to. Uh, that's pretty good. Okay. Um, to get the cold shot with the AC-20 out. Okay, not enough. It's gonna be Alpha Strike anyway. Down goes the awesome. Alright. So the only thing that we have to salvage now is another Highlander. It's another uh, 733P, sadly. Uh, I wish it was the Ballistic variant, because that thing we don't have yet, and it also is really good with either a Gauss or um, an AC. Which is not an air conditioner, it's an auto cannon. Okay, we're gonna do the full engage here. Okay, where's the Rangian? Hey, 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 dude, hey, look, look, I got AC20. <laughs> oh, I love when that works. It is so damn cool. Oh, yeah. So, that was a nice five skull battle, I'd say, and we managed to survive. We didn't get anything crit, we didn't lose anything, and uh, we performed quite well here. Now, let's take a look at our salvage options. Do we take another Highlander? I don't know. I don't know. We have to we have to think about that. I mean there's a mech that I don't have yet, which is the Battlemaster. We also have the Victor parts here. We have a full Zeus, but it would be also a thing that I can just pick up because I Ooh, ooh, ooh. okay. Um you know the Zeus I would pick up because I don't have it yet and it would increase my score in the end, but at the same time I'm not really going for a score. So what is it? It might be just a Highlander, just to sell it, honestly. I mean, picking up a full mech is always a good idea, right? Yeah. Let's go for that. We will get... Ah, I wanted to say we will get to Zeus anyway, but no, sadly not. The LRM20 Triple Plus was also interesting, but I didn't want it. Because it was only crit and stability damage. I wanted raw damage and stability damage. That would be the best combination for me, I think. But yeah, anyway, uh, medium laser triple plus, medium laser double plus, 10 damage, always good to see. And we have a new, fresh Highlander. That's looking good. Looking very good. So let's take a look. What are we gonna do here? We will probably put the medium lasers into, I don't know, to the Atlas. Yeah. And then we just sell the Highlander just to get some more money, and that money is gonna directly invest it into the cargo again. Alright. So, first things first. Rebuilding the max. Um, Atlas, here we go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the gyro out again. It didn't prove well here. And the heat management is completely, completely garbage. I mean, we don't need it, that's all I'm saying. So, three mediums, one large laser. Unless... wait a second. We can keep the gyro and do it like that. Dropping two more heat sinks. Three more heat sinks. One, two, three. And that is gonna get replaced with the bank. However, the bank is not really helping us. It is only giving us um, the overheat threshold that we don't need. What about that? Double large, double gauss, single medium. Or we drop the medium altogether. When will we ever fire that thing? Ever. It is really good whenever we drop back to just energy weapons when we are running out of ammo. Double large, double gauss. Kind of makes sense to me. 
This is how we play it. Absolutely. And that also means that we're gonna stuff all the medium lasers that we have available into the other atlas. Yes. Let's do that. The plus three hit defense is just so, so worthwhile though. I will not drop it. I will keep that thing. Now, which lasers do we take? I'm actually thinking about making this a critical boat. Oh wait, this is the damage boat, right? Although we have a good amount of damage from the AC-20 and the LRM, so if we shave off armor and then go with the crits afterwards, that'll be a nice idea. Let's make it so. Alright. Or do we take the damage? Uh, no, yes, yes, no. No, we'll take it like that. We'll, we'll build the Atlas like that. Alright, cool. And then... We have one of the Highlanders that is running a lot of mediums, as you can see here. Got you. Okay, we're gonna refit. You also want... Those mediums. They they don't really have an impact, that's the thing. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna buy the LRM-15 now, since we have that Highlander. Oh, it was a 20! I see, I see, I see. It was a 20. The 15 was in the last store that we saw? Probably. Okay, that's a problem then. That's a shame. UPCs with stability damage. I'm not too much interested in that. The 10 damage is better here, I think. Mm, okay, so if we don't have the LRM-15... Oh, wait, we have it! Never mind. We didn't buy it. We just found it. Now we got it. All right. Accuracy. And accuracy and crit. So there's that. We're gonna repair that arm. Perfect. Oh, this is looking better and better. And now we have one more laser that we can put into this mech. Because he needs damage as soon as he runs out of um, ammo or is getting underrun. God, look at all the lasers with the damage. So good. Cool. It's a pretty, pretty good brawler too. Also, do we actually need the, that targeting system? I don't know. Do we need it even? Ah, let's keep it. For the moment, it's fine. Alright. So, you go down to storage, alright? And what are we doing from this point on? I'm gonna sell the Highlander, because we have too many of them. It's just, it's first world problems, I know, we have too many Highlanders. Look at that. Look at that. So oh, sell that. Good. It's almost a million C-builds and now we are very much in the green again. But yeah, guys, you know what? We're gonna continue playing next time when we see each other. And uh, that has been your episode of Battletech Urban Warfare for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you want more of that. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.